It's time to get real. We're going to jump into common network attacks. And with common network attacks, we're going to focus on three, which is technically really four, which we'll see. But what it comes down to is they're here regarding threat actors. <laughs> so let's kick it off. We've got our three common network attacks that exist. Number one being the reconnaissance or the recon attack. And this is all about gathering information and learning about vulnerabilities that exist in the system. So from there, we can target those vulnerabilities in what's known as the access attacks. With an access attack, you're trying to take advantage of those vulnerabilities or weaknesses, and they could be in things like authentication or file transfer protocol, web services running on port 80, port 443. Even SSH has been known to have its vulnerabilities. Hence, Cisco released SSH version 2 on a lot of their iOS boxes. Um, DOS attacks, though. Denial of service. Having a multi-million dollar business is great. As long as people, which are the users and customers, can reach your network services and reach the web server, be able to transfer their money, make purchases, and literally be able to use your environment. Denial of service is all about having a disruption of network services. So let's jump in deep on these. We're going to go ahead and get into recon attacks first. And there's many different types of reconnaissance attacks that could occur. But where they really start with is like a storyline. We're going to have a threat actor perform some type of query of a target. And for that, it could be something as simple as a who is. So we can start by me going to research.domaintools.com up there in my URL. And I'm going to just go to cisco.com as my who is lookup. And I'm going to get more depth information on cisco.com. If I scroll down to the bottom here, we're going to be able to see that I get this whole who is record. Domain name is cisco.com, the registry domain. I get dates and times. I even get information regarding location and phone numbers and even our email address. This gives me a huge amount of information regarding the company. And there's actually ways that I can get more information than this. So this would be my initial level one beginning step of reconnaissance for, for the company of cisco.com. Now, continuing onwards, though, we can do something like a ping sweep of a targeted network. And there's tools that are readily available for things like a ping sweep, one of them being right here, for example. And there's a tool that you could use. And I just did a ping sweep on a local network, but I also went further than that. I did a port scan. And I pulled back multiple devices that were live and responded on the network with a ping sweep, along with different ports that are currently open on those devices. From there, I can research these ports and services and try to see if any vulnerabilities exist. With that idea in mind, I can use vulnerability scanners, actually target them at those live IP addresses, and see what comes back regarding applications, operating systems, service packs that all exist. Then finally, we can actually start running exploitation tools to take advantage of those vulnerabilities.